Hello, I'm going to try and shed some light on recording 10 outputs from the TD50 into your DAW. I couldn't find anything on the web how to do this, so I've kind of worked it out myself and got a way of doing it. I'm sure there are better ways of doing it, but anyway, this worked. So you have to go into the module and set up USB audio and down to driver mode and change that to vendor. Hit OK. And then you, you'll need to power the TD50 down and then on again for it to recognise the driver. So in system preferences on the Mac, you need to choose uh, in sound effects, you need to change that to TD50. And the output you need to change to TD50 and the input to TD50. And then in your door, you need to go down to device setup. This is Cubase 8.5, ASIO driver, and then choose a TD50 there. Switch it across. It's all very long winded, this. I was hoping for it to be a lot simpler than this. Anyway, then you've got to, what have you got to do? You've got to get your inputs in. I've already done that actually, so you can see I've got stereo in for the ambience and then four monos and then another two stereos for the toms and cymbals. And now we're going to add all the relevant tracks. So we need one stereo track for the ambient track. We need four mono output inputs for the kick, snare, hi-hat and ride. I'm just doing this quickly. And then another two stereo tracks for, what is it, it's the toms will be the first one. By the way, I should just quickly say that this is the way I've learned to do it, and I've had the machine for a couple of days, so it might not be the best way of doing it, but anyway, it seems to work. And last one will be for the crashes. So you just need to set the inputs in Cubase. That's the snare drum, that's the hi hat. Yeah, it's a hi hat. That's the ride cymbal. These are the toms and the crashes. So that's all the input set up. Arm those 10 tracks. Voila. And then there's a MIDI track up there I recorded earlier. I, I just couldn't figure out how to record MIDI and audio and talk to you at the same time. It's all been a bit confusing. So I'm recording the audio from that MIDI track above. And there you are, you can see it going in. Ten tracks. There you go. So just disarm those tracks, mute the MIDI track. Disarm all those ten tracks and turn it back. And there you can see the ten inputs recorded. What a palaver, eh? I was hoping for a much simpler way of doing it. It would have been nice if we could have recorded these in export mode, not real-time mode. Still, it's a significant improvement on the TD30. I hope that helped.